Alright guys, now I'm going to talk about how to upload the videos that you just downloaded. And yes, we actually have two videos that are ready to be uploaded because we have that first video, which is that 10 minute video that we can upload talking about the different YouTuber conspiracy theories. And then we also have the edited video just talking about that specific YouTuber FoosyTube that we just edited. So to upload a video to YouTube, it's very easy. You just click this button right on the top and then we click upload video. And then we can either drag a file from our computer or just click this right here and then select a video to upload. So now we have the first video uploading talking about the YouTuber conspiracy theories. Now this is the full like 10 minute video that we downloaded. And again, we can upload this completely free because it is considered Creative Commons. Now that's how to start uploading a video. And again, we can upload that second video as well. And you can upload two videos at once. You just click add more videos right there to upload more than one video at once. So guys, that is how to upload videos. In the next lessons, we're going to be talking about how we can optimize these videos. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about what license you should upload your YouTube video as. Since we downloaded the video as a Creative Commons video, you might be inclined to upload the video as a Creative Commons video. So you might change the license right here to Creative Commons. You cannot do this, guys. You actually have to upload the video as a standard YouTube license. It is against the rules to download someone's Creative Commons videos and then upload it as a Creative Commons video. So when you upload all of your videos, guys, always upload it as a standard YouTube license. So earlier I talked about how scheduling videos is a very good idea because then you can upload as many videos as you want in a day and have them scheduled to be released like every day. So to schedule a video it's very easy once you have your video uploading. All you have to do is click this because by default it will upload your video to public so you're going to want to click that and then you can just click scheduled right there and now you can schedule it for whenever you want. So let's say we want this video to be released tomorrow so we can just click that and then click October 8th and then we can choose what time we want the video to be uploaded at. And again, if we're uploading five to 10 videos per day, I recommend separating them by at least an hour. So by default, we're just gonna go for 12 p.m. right there. So guys, that is how to schedule a video. And then once you fill everything out here, we're gonna be going into like how to do SEO and everything, get your videos ranking and start getting views. So once you have everything filled out, then you can just click publish on the selected date that you chose, and then your video will publish on that date. Now we're going to go over the secret to how to use other people's tags, how to find them, and then put them on your own videos. And to do this, we can just search for a similar video to the one that we're uploading. And in our case, it is YouTuber Conspiracy Theories. And then we can just find a video with a lot of views. You might not want to use videos with people from like 4 million subscribers, like this person right here, or this person with 18 million subscribers, because these people don't have to try that hard to actually get views on their videos. And this is because they're already going to rank because they have so many subscribers. So what you're going to want to do is find people with not many subscribers who are getting a lot of views on their videos. So you might want to sort by view count again to find the videos with the most views and then look for people that don't have many subscribers. And the plugin I'm using is called vidIQ to see how many subscribers that someone has right there. And I highly recommend this. I'll leave a link to where you can download vidIQ as well. So once you find a channel, you can just click their video, right? And then again, using that Social Blade plugin that I was talking about, you can actually copy the tags just with a simple click right here. So you just click that, and then the tags are copied onto your clipboard. And then going over to your video page, you can just paste the tags right in there. Now you're not going to want to use the same tags as everybody else. And you don't want to make it deceiving either because if they don't talk about a specific YouTuber, like let's say they don't talk about this Marina Joyce, whoever this is, you can just click the X on it and then you can delete those tags. So that is the secret to finding other people's tags and putting them on your videos.